Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Christmas Grinch surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Grinch surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm gonna begin by lining up my corners and folding it so it looks like I'm making a birthday card. After I have it folded, I'm going to give it one more fold in half, just like this. Now when I open this up, I've got these nice little guidelines that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. Now to start off with our Grinch surprise fold, we're going to begin by making a little Christmas tree. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to come up and then it's going to come down. I'm going to make this come in and then go out to here. And then same thing here. We're going to go in and we'll come out and then down a little bit. Next, I'm going to make this come in just a little bit here. I'm going to make it come out and make it come out nice and wide. I'll make it come out again even farther. Same thing here, just kind of out again even farther, and we'll kind of bring it back. Then we'll just go ahead and draw a nice line across. Now, right down here, I'm going to make two lines for the stem, or the trunk, I should say. A little line across. Then we'll make a little curve line on each side. And then we'll just make another little curve line right here. Now, I want to make it look like the top of this tree is filled with ornaments and everything. So let's go ahead and make a star at the top. So we'll begin by making a little point at the top. Make a line that goes out and in, out and in. And then we'll go down and right to here down and then right in towards the top. Next, we want to fill up our tree with lots of ornaments. So I'm going to make lots of different size circles all over here. I'm going to make some big, some small, we can make some hanging off of the tree. But we're just going to fill this up with lots of different size ornaments. You can make some hanging off the tree too. And we're just going to put lots of different size ones. And we can even make like some candy canes too by making like some hook shapes. And then just putting some different little lines on there. So we're just going to fill this up with lots of ornaments. I'll do another little candy cane over here. And we're just going to really cover this up with as many ornaments as we can. So we have a nice, full little Christmas tree. Now, once we're done with this, we want to open this up and add some stuff on the inside. After we open it up, we have two halves of our Christmas tree. We have the top and bottom. So what we want to do is we want to fill in the middle. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to bring this line in on each side. Then I'm just going to make some more little points that just come all the way down. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're just going to make a few more points, or a lot of points. And we're just going to bring it right down to here. Now, we're actually going to leave this whole part empty. We're not going to put anything on it because we want to make it look like the Grinch has taken all the ornaments off of there. So we want to put our Grinch right over here. So I'm going to start by making a line that's just going to go down and then up in like a check mark. And then same thing here. We're going to go down and then up in a check mark shape. We're going to make a half circle shape underneath each check mark. 
and we're gonna make a little circle inside here and we're gonna color in most of it leaving just a little bit white I want to make a little oval shape for the nose and we're gonna make a little line down I'm gonna put a little line on each side and then we're gonna make a nice big Grinch smile and another little line under here now we're gonna start right here and I'm gonna curve a little line above the end of each mouth and then I'm gonna add some little points on here so it makes it look like he's got that furry Grinch face I'll do the same thing here and then we'll just make another little smiley face right under here for his chin we'll make a line that comes up on each side and then let's go ahead and create a little bumpy line across and then we're going to make another little bumpy line across for the bottom of a Santa hat Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up, and then it's going to come down. We'll make another line up here, and a line that's going to come down. Then we're going to make just a little bumpy line right here. Now, starting here, I'm going to make two little lines here. And we're going to make a little bumpy line. And another little bumpy line right around here. And we'll make a little line right here. Just show he's kind of hiding behind the tree. Now right here, I'm going to make a line that goes down. And then we're going to make a line that comes up here. We'll make a little bumpy line right here. And I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and then up for his arm. Now starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up. We're going to go down and we're going to curve it up. I'm going to bring this down and up and then we're going to curve it back down and we're going to do the same thing here. Now we're gonna make a line right here. And then we'll make another little curve line here. I'll make a line down. We wanna make a tiny square shape and then a big circle right here for one of the ornaments. And I'll put a little circle shape on it. Now, you can always leave it like this, or you can add some extra stuff. I'm actually going to add his little bag over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make some little wavy, kind of wiggly lines right here. And I'm going to bring this line down, and I'm going to make this line go up and down. I'm going to make a couple little bumps. And I'm going to make a big circle shape that comes right to here. I'm going to add a couple little lines down. And then right inside of here, I'm going to add a couple square shapes. And we're going to put a couple bows on there. So we'll make a little half circle. A little line that goes up and down on each side. And we'll make a nice tall present right in here too. We'll do a little half circle and this time we'll just do a little zigzag line. Maybe we'll add some little curved lines across and this one will add a few lines coming down. And let's go ahead and put another little candy cane in here too. A little hook shape with a couple little lines. 
And we'll go ahead and we'll put like an ornament over here too. A circle with a little square and a hook on it. Just to show that he's taken all sorts of stuff. And there you go, there's your drawing of a little Grinch surprise fold. So when we have it all closed up, we have a nice full Christmas tree. And then when we open it, you can see that the Grinch has stolen all of the ornaments and presents. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.